Have you been struggling with your literacy block and toyed with the idea of daily five, but really haven't come into your own with it yet and feel stressed and overwhelmed trying to implement all the things? Well, you're in the right place today because in this video, I'm going to give you my 10 best hacks for daily five, things that are going to make you absolutely look forward to your literacy block every single day. And I know this to be true because it's my favorite part of the day. My fifth graders have said it's their favorite part of the day. And my friend Amber over at Burned and Teacher was totally against starting the daily five until I convinced her to do it again because she had had a bad experience with it and it turns out she wasn't doing it the right way plus she didn't know all of the hacks that I'm going to share with you today no god no god please no 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 now she uses it and doesn't know what literacy would even look like without it all right let's dive right in I'm going to share with you all of the things that I've made so much better in the last 10 years, and I know you're gonna love them. Okay, the first thing, I'm gonna recommend you get the Daily Five book. I have to plug the two sisters that wrote the book. It will help you, it'll walk you through all the different things you need to do to set up all the stations. The rest of my tips are gonna be the tweaks that I have made for daily five, but go ahead and get the book. You can get it on Amazon. I recently just gave away two copies of it during my daily five workshops that I hosted live to people that came live. So sad if you missed out on that one. My second hack is to keep the choices the same. So a lot of teachers will get their head kind of like in a spin thinking about changing out the choices every day. I used to change them out every day and that's why daily five got exhausting for me. You can keep the choices the same every single day. And what I mean is every day, say you're in my class, you have read to sell first, work on writing, listen to reading, book club, and then word work. Those would be the choices that you have in that order. And they'll say the same for every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can also with um, one of my other tips I'm gonna give in a second, change them out based on the day of the week, but I don't want to jump ahead. So with that, another hack you can use is my smart board daily five choices. You project them on the smart board. This saves about five to 10 minutes of instructional time every single day, instead of calling the kids back and forth to the carpet. So I'll leave a link below for that, where you can get that in my TPT store. You just change out the names of the students, put the choices in, boom, they're ready to go for the entire year. Okay. So this is the hack I was talking about. My next tip is to keep the choices at the bottom and I'll show you here. It's Monday through Friday and then the tab just changes. You can do this in Google Sheets, you can do it in Excel. If you don't wanna make this on your own, you can get mine in my TPT store, it's pretty cheap. Um, I highly recommend if you do want the days to be different, just change the tabs at the bottom. And I show you how to do that inside of a video when you buy the product. Okay, next. Number five, keep the expectations consistent, repeat them every day. If you've watched any of my other daily five videos, which you know, I have a whole playlist dedicated to the daily five. You have to go over the expectations every single day, keep them consistent. And I have all those charts inside of my store as well, because I think they look so nice when you print them out. I'm guilty of doing the handwriting at the beginning of the year and then not liking it. And so then I print them on the poster maker and then they look so nice in your classroom and you can keep those from years and years to come as long as they are out of the sun. Okay, next, number six, align your book clubs to learning standards. So don't make it harder on yourself. Take what your students need to know for what grade level you're in for reading and apply that to the books that you want to use in your book club. A lot of times we think like we have to have all these separate lessons for everything. Why can't you take your learning standards and just combine them into your book clubs? That's what I do. I absolutely love doing that. My students love it. And I think you'll find that it gets easier. And then every year that you do it, it'll get easier and easier after that because you'll have a system in place for it. Okay, next writing prompts for work on writing put those up on the smart board i have a whole year-long bundle for this so if you don't want to create these on your own then go grab mine they even come with writing worksheets so the, all the prompts are written on there work on writing is not your teaching writing time a lot of people get that confused so work on writing is just a station during daily five i like to consider it creative writing time you could also do handwriting during this time which i have cursive and print letters as well you can get all of this in my daily five toolkit. It has everything you could possibly want for daily five. So I'll leave that below, but the prompts go on the board. The kids write them in their journal. They can write them on uh, writing paper too, it, or having um, a journal is great. So having structure to writing 
I really do recommend you have writing prompts for them because if you don't, they're going to not know what to write about. Some of them are going to be really into writing, but we know we have a lot of reluctant writers, especially as they get older. So having those prompts will be super helpful for you. Okay, number eight, tie your word work, sometimes people call it word study, into your existing curriculum. Most of our curriculums have a word work component, I think, at this point. I'm not an expert on this, but the curriculum that my district uses is called Benchmark, and it has a whole word study. They call it word study. Daily Five, I call it word work. Same thing. It combines with what they're doing in their small group reading lesson with you and for that week. So you can follow the same routine with your word work that matches your curriculum. And I, I think you should do that because it's going to make word work a little bit easier for you. And if you don't have an existing curriculum, then I would find anything science of reading to help you figure out what word work activities to do for your students. Okay, number nine, choose older books. This is for book club. I love doing this because the kids haven't been exposed to a lot of books, like even Charlotte's Web they haven't read, or uh, one of the kids' uh, favorite in my fifth grade class, I might even have a copy. Oh, I do. The Mouse and the Motorcycle. They love this book. So you can find older books that they haven't been exposed to. It has rich vocabulary. It's a great time to teach vocabulary words, which is so important. And um, also give them new ideas that they never thought of because they're not picking those books in the library. They're picking the newer genre ones. So it's a great way to make sure that everybody in that book club hasn't read that book yet. All right, last but not least, for listen to reading, I'm going to encourage you to use Apple Classroom so you can monitor what your students are doing. I need to make a whole video on this. I'll quickly put up a screenshot, though, of what it looks like um, so you can monitor what your kids are doing. This is obviously not an active screenshot because the kids are not in this office right now. And their names are covered for anonymity purposes. However, you can see on their name what app they're on. And you can have your teacher iPad pulled up next to you while you're teaching your reading groups and just make sure that they're not on the wrong app. Because if they are, then you need to follow through with the consequence of, well, I guess you don't have listen to reading for the week. That's what I do. And it works really well in my classroom. So I hope these hacks will help you with Daily Five, implementing it into your existing reading curriculum. It's all about the structure, not the instruction. So you'll notice that I didn't really tell you how to teach anything. I just gave you tools to help make Daily Five easier. If you missed my Daily Five workshop, have no fear. You can still buy the replay and it's action packed full of tips and trips tricks. I show you how I do things exactly in my classroom so you can see them and just have that that visual image of what I'm talking about. And we dive a lot deeper into the whole topic of daily five and what it looks like in K through two and three through five. So I'll leave that below and let me know in the comments. Have you tried daily five? Are you going to try it for this upcoming school year? I think you'll love it and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.